Hello and welcome to New Winchester Farms. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to show you what we have in our general goat medical supplies. We keep them in a closet in an organized basket system just to keep it simple and try to keep the different things separated so that way it's easy to find when an emergency arises. Because as everyone knows who owns goats, they like to get sick. Okay, first of all I'm going to start here with this box. This box is kind of um, a little bit, it focuses around lambing time. And this is separate than my bags that I use for kidding, which I will make another video about at another time. First off I have here is a feeding tube for if any lambs or kids need help with eating or are very, born very weak. Hopefully I don't ever have to use this one. Next, here in Ohio, it is a by law by the USDA that any sheep or lambs, sheep or goats that we sell have to have scrapie tags. So here we have our scrapie tags. Then I have a couple of the soft rubber nipples to put over the top of Coke or Pepsi bottles for the lambs or kids to drink out of. However, I have found that these do not work for our boar kids or any of our good kids. They are too big. And I had it upside down. Next, I have the bottle that I like to use if we end up with any bottle babies. This one here is from Tractor Supply, and I have found that this one works very well, especially with the Pritchard nipple. Also in the bag, something else we give the babies at birth is it's a bit of multi-species colostrum gel. Last year we had a very hard time with kids that were born weak because of some cats we had and so this is something that we have found works well to help the kids if they're a little bit weak. And last but not least in the box, we do not dehorn any of our own baby goats. However, we have to dehorn any of the boar goats that are going for 4-H. Now our next box here is a box that contains syringes and needles and our drenching gun, one of them. So there's a couple different ways that you can give goats their medicine, either oral or subcutaneous or intramuscular. So we have several different types of syringes and also several different needle sizes. As some medicines, the liquid is thicker and you need a, a bigger bore of needle in order for the medicine to go through. And this here is what a drenching gun looks like. We have two of these that we use. And then I just keep the needles, the different sizes, in a couple different Ziploc bags so they're easy to pull out. If I have to just quick find one, uh, the sizes are separated in separate Ziploc bags. And then I can also go through and quickly find the size of syringe that I need as those are also kept in separate bags. Before I go into some of the medicines here, I would first of all like to say a disclaimer. I am not a veterinarian, so I will not be giving you out doses or necessarily what we use the different medications for. I will just be simply showing you what we have in our boxes. We keep banamine. Um, for any pain and then we use the CMPK drench that is if it's a, t it's a calcium supplement we keep B12 well pardon B complex and we use that for if we have any that are weak or just generally sick it helps bring on an appetite and things like that we carry thiamine we had two goats get listeriosis. 
this past fall, so now we carry it just as a precaution, just in case they should get it again. We keep baby aspirin also in there. The baby aspirin, generally, we'll only give it if the, the vet says, like, if they have a fever or something like that, we use that, that's what we use it for, or if they're showing that they're in pain. Next, our area where we live is deficient in selenium. So once a year, most often around kidding season and kidding season, everybody gets a shot of BOC, which is selenium, and that helps with their ligaments and the growth of their legs if they've got weak legs, weak lig ligaments, and things like that. Probiotics. Probiotics are very important as they help with the gut health. As with any small ruminant, if they get sick or they get injured, their gut health is very important to make sure that you keep that up and going. And also if you use chemical dewormers, it is very good to always make sure they have probiotics and also electrolytes at the time of deworming and for about a week around that time as the dewormers are very hard on their systems. Next we have tums. These tums here we use also around kidding season to prevent the mothers from getting low on calcium around the time with kidding as if they have low calcium they can, it can still labor and cause issues with them accepting the kids after birth. Next here, I have VetRx. The VetRx is to do with anything respiratory. Anytime any of my goats show signs of a snotty nose or a little bit of a breathing issue or if they should happen to get pneumonia, the VetRx works very well at helping them with breathing. And then also here, I have another calcium. It's a calcium drench that can be given right at the time of kidding. I use this more often if I have some goats that don't like tums because with the liquid form, I can easily just drench it and make them take it if they don't want to just readily accept the, if they just don't want to readily accept the tums. The next two baskets, um, the first one that I will go over has our dewormers in. Um, just a couple of the chemical ones we use. Um, with our deworming, we try to be very careful that we don't do a scheduled deworming as our vet said a scheduled deworming can actually cause parasite resistance to the dewormers. What we do is we take in a sample every couple months and she goes over, we take a sample from a couple different goats and she gets an overall of what everybody has and then she tells us what we need to give at what time and for how long. Um, our goal here is that we do not, we are fairly parasite resistant with our goats. We have had to do one set of deworming on everybody in the past year. Before that, the last major deworming would have been I had three does come down with the meningeal worm. But other than that, we have been very lucky that we have been parasite free up until this point. So our general dewormers that we use are ivermectin and Corid and Panicure. Like I said, the only ones that we have had to use so far are the Corid for the whole herd and then the Ivermectin for three does that had gotten the meningeal worm. Thing we have here are some tubes of tomorrow. What I had bought them for is for a sheep that had a massive infection that was a cellulitis is what the vet said it was that spread from 
one leg and it moved up around the top of her back and down into the other leg and it was very deep so we use this tomorrow to try to put a good bacteria back into her wound and that was a big help. Next we have, which it won't show up on there, it's an eye ointment for anyone that gets any eye infections. And then we keep new floor around, which is another antibiotic. And we also keep biomycin. 